guess it would be time for me to do the uncut, overrated, overdue, long anticipated understanding as to where I've been, what I've been doing, how things have been, um, just a brief update of my life and things of that nature. Because I know a lot of my friends have been hearing from me in different ways. Of course, I have been on Twitter, I've been on Facebook from time to time, but of course, as I posted in the other video, the phone is shut, there's no action, I'm basically using it as a notepad and keeping it moving, I'm, I'm not heavy on doing a lot of promo or pushing or doing anything outrageous, I've kind of kept a low, very low key profile, like if I feel like I need to know what's up, I'll tell you, but I haven't really been pushing myself out there because I don't see the need to. Anyways, um, things haven't been all that bad. I'm trying my hardest now to work myself back into the habit of writing again. Um, I don't know. It's it's been different. I, I'll put it to you like that. There, this isn't. It's not gonna be an emotional blog. Don't don't worry about that. But I'm gonna be real and say what I gotta say. And what I want to say to everyone is. When you go through hard times, you learn how to go through hard times. And when I say go through hard times, I'm not talking about the whole paycheck to paycheck thing. I'm just talking about learning how to cut down many of your luxuries down to none. Um, you know, you have your few things. Like for me, everybody knows the focus is still running. Ain't nothing going on crazy with that. I ain't gonna lie. I do need to get some maintenance done to it. It's, long overdue but you gotta you can't do anything unless you have money to do it because if you you gotta it's almost like all right i guess the the best way to put it is almost as though you literally have to rob peter to pay paul and when i heard that say like as a child or being younger hearing that i didn't understand what that meant or how to relate that to anything but now it's like at 27 i really and truly do understand that so it's just kind of an interesting trend. Um, something, a friend of mine brought up an interesting topic, and I guess I'm going to talk about this. It's kind of like my issue or concern of today. Um, I haven't, one, one thing that's also been a transition for me or that's really been a big adjustment is um, I finally, I guess you could say I found love or love has found me. And I'm thankful for that, and I'm grateful for it. And it's working out to my advantage because there are a lot of things or a lot of ways that I used to try and work so hard to meet people or get to know folks. And now it's kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's almost as though once, you have, once you've once you met someone who compliments you or you compliment them or whatever, everything else around you, around you just doesn't exist. I mean, it's there, but you're not as pressed on it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm trying to make my money just like the next man because... That's all it's about. I'm always on the paper chase, but when it comes down to like the little things like people not getting messages on Facebook or not getting a reply on Twitter or whatever, I don't get as wrapped up into that as I used to anymore. Like now it's like, hey, if I hear from you, I hear from you. If you hear from me, you hear from me. Like we get so, a lot of times folks get too caught up in what they can't control that they don't realize that the things that they really have control of, they, aren't, they don't worry about because they just throw it off to the wayside. And if you don't understand what that means, do send me a message, and I'll be more than happy to break that down for you. Anyways, um, that's mostly been it. I'm hoping soon, I don't know when, because I've been kind of slacking on it. I'm hoping at least before this month is out that I'll have a blog written up because I haven't wrote a blog in almost two months. And to all of my readers who have been going to check them out, I apologize. I will be improving the tech department as well. And it's not nobody's fault. It's not even my fault. It's just right now hasn't been the time for me to really sit and do anything. I've been more so on the go, on the go, on the go. So to those of you who understand that, I applaud you. To those of you who really don't care, even more um, thanks. Because without you, I don't know where I'd be. Um, my venting will continue. I'm not going anywhere. The routine ain't changed. The game ain't changed. The style ain't changed. It's the days of the week and how I'm going about doing things. So always enjoy your time. Enjoy your company. Hope you all come back soon. 
I'll be looking forward to doing some more videos. And in the meantime, between time, blood, sweat, and tears, BT signing out. Got a bit of a topic I might get into next time about how we let people go and bring them back and let them go and bring them back and all that stuff. So when I get to that, I'll do it. But in the meantime, not going to worry about it. Y'all be good. Stay safe. I'm out.